All right, today we're doing the Speedy 360 X-axis motor replacement. <clears throat> so what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna loosen up these four screws. Then you want to back out the tensioner. And you don't need to remove this tensioner screw. And that makes the plate slide easily. And then you'll remove the belt. It can be a pain sometimes, but you'll get it. All right. You can leave that up there. And now there's four smaller screws. Right there, right there, there, and there. And these screws you're gonna completely remove. Those are the only screws holding the motor up in there. All right, and keep some pressure underneath of it because it will drop. So you want to get that last screw out and then it'll come down. And then what you'll do after that is you need to remove this harness. So carefully pull that out. It's got those prongs in there. You don't want to mess them up. And then this is weaved just behind that one plastic piece down through this circuit board. So carefully remove that. And just be very, very careful with this board. And you can move this up. And just carefully slide it out of the top. And there you go. Alright, and now we'll put it back in. Slide this back down through. Sorry, you can hear my daughter upstairs. <laughs> All right, and then we'll pop this up through there and you want to thread one of your screws in. All right, we got all those started. You can go ahead and tighten them down. Just be careful not to strip them. You do want them semi-tight. Nice and snug. All right, and then we'll put this other harness back in its place. Be careful of the prongs. Plug this other one in. All right, and now we'll slide this over again so we can get this belt back on. So you place it over the motor pulley itself, slide this bracket over. And then pop it back on. Now we'll ten tighten the tensioner screw. three inches, check your tension, measure, point three four point four three inches washer to washer. Now that we 
got our tension set well, we're going to go back and we're going to tighten up these four screws and that will hold the tension in place. Check your tension again, make sure it's good, and you're done.